Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new around these parts, welcome. My name is Melissa, where have you been all my life? Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe, why not? As you can see by the title today, we have a fairly exciting video, depending on your level of excitement towards this brand or this person. The Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. Is it Volume 2? No, it's more like Volume 10,000, but it's called the Volume 2. This is what it looks like. I love pink so much. Pink and purple are my Jimmy Jam. As always with the new palette, I'm going to swatch every single shade on my big B forms. We're then going to jump into me putting this eye look on, which is just my first time like cleaning it on camera. Please don't judge. I tried to do a more Jaclyn Hilly-esque smoky eye that I've seen in like a few of the the videos and promotions for this palette and I'm not very good at them. Um, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts at the end of the video. This is one of their £39 palettes. The collab palettes are always more expensive. I don't really mind because you can get 10% off with an influencer's code and also they have Klarna so you can split the payment which I enjoyed when I got it the other day because I didn't really have any money but I needed this palette for the colour story so yeah. Whilst I don't actually watch Jaclyn Hill or follow her, um, this palette just spoke my name so I had to buy it and I did. Anyway, I think we should just forge ahead and start the swatching. Um, I'll do close ups and I'll dim the light so you can really see it and then we'll do this eye look and then I'll give you my thoughts. Please don't judge my fingernails. Very stressed, have been biting them terribly. So yeah, anyway, let's jump in to the swatches. I'm just about to rub it on my face, so that would be a disaster. If you are new here, I just swatch down my arm. Let me give you a bit more room. Um, and no primer, nothing, just one swatch. I don't try and make them look good, and I will come in closer and dim the light so you can really see it, and I'll just start at the top. First up, we have Certified. I'm in it. This is a weird one. It's one of those weird, like sheer shades that just have a hint of colour. I've got it on my inner corners so you can see it and that's used wet. I just feel like a dry swatch is not going to make it look good. We have Love Handles. I feel attacked. Comfort Zone. Perfectionist. Ride or Diamonds. Thick Skin. Do you know what? Swatched a lot of these are looking very similar, like these two, kind of these three, look very, very similar. I'm not sure you'd see a lot of difference on the eye. And next row we've got No Joke. Actually quite impressed with this yellow on the eye. Sometimes Morphe yellows are a bit poo. And this wasn't. Oh. This next metallic feels very wet. Kind of like Colourpop Super Shock Shadows. This one's called Talia. That's pretty. Feeling myself. Pretty good orange. This is me, homebody. Get ready with me. GRWM. Bougie. Mm, this one looks really pretty on my finger. Drama Queen. Oh, I like that one. That's the first two rows. Mm, what do we think? It's, uh, Quite a lot of similar shades. Let me dim the lights quite a lot and just show you. Yeah, I just feel like these two and this one, they just look pretty similar. But that yellow swatched real nice. In fact, that top matte swatched really nice as well. And that orange, that last one's got a lovely like pinky purple reflect to it. I'll just dim the lights again, just in case this is too bright. I do like them apples. That gold is very pretty. Interesting. Okay, so our next one, I can't see, is called Flawed and Odd. Some of these names are a bit weird. G Money. Weird, cringe. Positivity. That's a really lovely coral. My Man. My Man, yep. Then we have Grateful. Heart On. This one looks promising. Living my best. Ooh. Wow. I can imagine that packed on will be quite impactful. Okay, now we move into the, the kind of showstoppers. In my, the, the more interesting rows. We have a moment. Therapy sesh. 
Lolly Mama. What does that mean? Tipsy Girl. Love a bright pink. Empowered. Oh, see, that does swatch quite well. Next. And Dance Party. I'm loving seeing the gradient from like more yellowy oranges, browns into these purples and pinks. I'm hopefully gonna fit the last roll on this chunk of arm. Last roll, we have Stay True. That's like a matte with a bit of shimmer in it, which I hate, but they seem to be in all palettes. So does this one. Not My Journey. Yeah, those last did definitely have a bit of sparkle in them. Good Place. That's a metallic. I think this one's Paolo, I think that's how you pronounce it. That's very pretty. Like, just look how they pick up. Um, oh Hello. Crazy. I need to swatch up my elbow. Temptress is the last one, which is black. And it's a really good one. It's a really good one. Let me show you these. It's going to be too bright like that. Oh, I've dimmed the lights a bit. I love that so much. Is it unique? No. But is it really pretty and wearable for me? Yes. Absolutely. But there is, I mean, there's a lot of palettes that have this kind of colour story. However, does it stop me buying new ones? No. I'll come in a bit. Look at that, like, true red swatch. Like, that's really quite impressive. I just feel like some of the metallics are a little underwhelming, like Morphe can do really incredible metallics but these are, I'd say, a little lacklustre. This is the one I've got all over my eyelid. Swatching it all together and kind of looking at it like that, because this is obviously my first time doing it, it is kind of reiterating to me that the palette is, whilst very, very pretty, very much my cup of tea is not unique. I think there's another palette out there, I'll try and put a picture on screen of what people are saying it's very much like a copy of. I don't necessarily think it's a copy, I just think when you put a bunch of purples and pinks in a palette, a lot of other palettes that have purples and pinks are going to look similar. It's not really stained my arm, although it's weird because I have played with this palette on two occasions now and I did feel like it stained my eyes very very badly but my arm actually looks pretty unscathed. Anyway so we're just going to jump now into me putting it on my eyes and doing this incredibly unique and you've probably never seen a look as good as this before look and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end but remember it's just technically first impression because it's the first time I've made a look that looks okay however this is my third time actually sitting down and playing with a palette so yeah. So yeah we will stop Fannying around and getting in. Let's put makeup on. I've got Urban Decay Primer Potion on my eyelid. That's my primer because that's what it's for. Obviously it's not um, kind of a typical Melissa look like I've said, but it's just what happens, isn't it? I'm just gonna make my shape first. These are the kind of eyes I actually find the most difficult because I'm trying to not go over the top and not make it too big and too in your face so I'm gonna go in with the shade dance party just here and I'm just taking like a minuscule amount on my brush and I just want to get my shape and I just want it rounded and really not over the top if you watch me usually you know it's usually very big and dramatic I can't remember what I did next. I'm gonna take the shade Oh Hello and I'm gonna pretty much put this where I have that first shade. Because that first shade is just like, Melissa, don't take darker shades higher than this because then this look will get too dramatic. I'm really hoping that when I put my lashes on and the rest of my makeup, everything looks good. I'm still using minimal product as well, just because I'm trying not to plonk on far too much in one go and then be like, oh, look at this, I can't blend this out, what a surprise. 
that happens to me quite a lot. I'm gonna go back in with Dance Party. This time I am trying to get a bit more pigment and really start building it up. This is one of the most beautiful shades. It's that lovely like raspberry pink, which has quite a lot of depth to it. Oh, I love it. And one of my favourite shades in the palette, which is called Tipsy Girl, which is a very, very bright, like proper neon pink. I'm using a very small amount and very, very light pressure just to start blending out Dance Party, I think it was called. I'm going to go in with No Joke now, which is the yellow. And just start adding that around the outside. Some yellows I find are very disappointing, especially from Morphe. This one's fine. Absolutely fine, no, no issues with it. And then what I need to do now is just add a bit more depth which I'm scared about because this is where it's probably going to mess up. But one of my other favourite shades is this shade here called Crazy. It's, mm, it's wonderful. You would have seen the swatches already. I'm trying to keep it quite low and not too high up in my crease. I say that as if I have a real crease considering my eyes are pretty hooded. I've not really tried to blend it out, I'm just kind of placing it on because I'm going to blend it out with a different shade but I just want to kind of lay it on to so my eyes start to look similar I know they still look different, obvs This shade here really caught my eye when I first opened the palette it's called Empowered and it's like a raspberry pink mm, red sparkly metallic it's not the most interesting when it's dry which I'm doing now. You can see it, but it's not. Mm, I was hoping it would blow me away more. So I'm loading up my brush and using a setting spray. Just to ask it a bit more. I just thought it would have a bit more impact and it's not that great. So I'm just gonna take my finger. You must excuse my fingernails. I do stress bite them and with a finger it packs a lot more punch but also you get all the sparkle from it hopefully you can see that it's not like massively glittery but there are really pretty chunks of glitter in there it is a really pretty shade I just kind of expected a little bit more just a pinch more I wouldn't say Mm, that this metallic blows me in anyway, actually. I'm gonna go back in with Tipsy Girl. Just use this, just to try and blend that deep, deep shade that we used. And I'll go back in with No Joke. Around the periphery, you could say. I have Sessa Black because I love black queen and eyeshadow palettes. I know some people say they get very repetitive and you don't need a black in every single, single, every single palette. I think you do need a black in most palettes, personally. It's called Temptress, which is my middle name. I'm gonna stamp this as kind of messy liner. This is an excellent black eyeshadow. When I tried playing with this palette the other day, a couple of days ago, and made a terrible look, I did a like all black smoky eye. Wow, this black. Great. And I'm gonna pick up Temptress and this one. What is it called? Crazy. Just gonna dip into both of them. 
on my brush and just kind of smudge over this line. I picked up too much black. I'll pick up a tiny bit of Tipsy Girl just on that same brush. Just, I just feel like it um, just blends it just a little pinch more into my lid shade. So to help kind of blend my outer edge, I'm going in with the shade here. I think it's called Lolly Mama. What does that mean? This is just a bit of a softer pink and I feel like it just helps blend into that yellow. And can take down my harsh edges. I'm just going to jump into the lower lash line while I'm here. I'm going to go back in with Temptress. This is going to go all the way along the bottom. I just feel like Jack and Hill does like really smoky eyes and then I'm going to use my Milani Stay Put Eyeliner. I wanted black, I could only find grey, but this is such a dark grey you wouldn't even notice. Like it's so dark. And then one of my favourite shades, Dance Party. I'm just going to start blending out the black. I really feel like this look is going to come together when I put my lashes and face makeup on. I really hope so anyway. And why am I holding this so weird? No joke, the yellow one. And in between those two, to make them look better, I'm going in with Tipsy Girl. Under my brow, I'm going to put this one down here, I'm in it. I'll just put a bit on the inner corner while I'm here. I reckon this will be much better wet, I'm just using it dry. I'm just going to run off, put my base on and then come back and see what I need to do with the eyes because I know they don't match perfectly at all. Um, I'll be back in a second with my base on. I feel like I'll know a lot better than what I need to do because, yeah, this is just, I wanna wipe it off, but I'm gonna try. Give me a second. I've got my base on and I've just put this lash on. It's probably a little longer than I should have gone for, but I've put all the effort putting one on. I'm not gonna take it off. I haven't done anything else to my eyes apart from just run a tiny bit more yellow along this lower lash line. Um, and I think kind of with the lash on it hides hides some errors that I've made because I'm not professional so I do really love these lashes. I just I don't think they're the right ones for this look but still ooh, I love them and a lash just makes a look it always makes it look better always so obviously the rest of my face is done gosh don't my lips look dry? Mm -hmm. I'm happy enough with my makeup. I'd easily go out like this. In fact, I need to go to Tesco and get groceries before I do my drunk, um, was it unpopular opinion video tonight? I need to get food before I can, <laughs> before I can do it. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm happily gonna go out like this. They don't match exactly, but I will say, I feel like these tones make my eyes look so, so, so blue. I know some people say I've got green eyes, but I've definitely got blue eyes. Yeah, I mean overall I'm happy. They worked really well. I just think this one's maybe looking darker and more orange. Please forgive me. I'm still struggling a little to put makeup on, but yeah, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Very impressed by how they applied and by the pigment. I am finding it progressively more and more difficult to fit, like form a an opinion so quickly on a new product because I feel like it's something that you really have to keep playing with and trying and try different eye bases and try different looks and try all the different shades but I will say I mean because I have played with it twice before filming with it and now filming with it today I'm I mean I'm quite impressed I've only dipped into the pinks these kind of tones here and the light like under eye one um, and the yellow. Apart from that, I haven't played with them. Like I've not tried the neutrals. I've not really tried the oranges or these like matte purples down here, but um, 
this is this is my kind of palette this is a kind of this is 100 percent the kind of palette that i am going to keep reaching for because these are just my tones this is my type on paper but in real life i actually love the color story when i saw it i was like that doesn't really have jaclyn hill's name on it but that does not deter me because i didn't really buy it for that i buy palettes because i really like them as opposed to like the influencer who's behind it and whilst i think mm, it's a little expensive these kind of collab palettes always are i wonder if they'll do a mini like they did with the james charles one if you love these kind of tones i think you should probably give it a go i find the pinks and the purples just in the mattes incredibly pigmented the black is amazing i actually haven't swatched it yet i do that after i do my outro but i'm hoping that they'll swatch very nicely although for me swatches aren't the be all end all i just enjoy them in terms of metallics i do feel like they could be a bit better and uh, morphe mm, morphe can do very 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 good ones or kind of substandard and not that great these feel cheap these are kind of, i don't want to say it but i do feel like they are viewing more to the these kind of feel cheap metallics but the mattes oh the mattes oh the mattes mm, 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 i like them a lot yeah it's another it's one of these palettes that i'm probably going to spend the whole week playing with doing a couple more videos if you want to see those um and just really testing it i want to do like a big mm, cut crease that's really really dramatic please let me do that um yeah i like it thus far let me know what you think so yeah that's gonna be it from me today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did it would help me out a lot if you gave it a big thumbs up a pity thumbs up because I can't match my eyes. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're going to buy it. If you've already bought it. If you're definitely not buying it. Why? Let me know. And subscribe because it's just the polite thing to do. And as we all know the internet is <laughs> the worst place. Of course I want to say a massive thank you to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon and by watching my videos. Why do you do it? I don't understand but thank you so much. And if you want to become a Patreon you can join our WhatsApp group our Facebook group and our Discord as well as watching me do daily lives, not daily, that's a lie, I do them weekly, then the link is down in the description box. But if you can't or don't want to become a patron, please don't worry about it, watching my videos is a massive support, more than I can say. And on that note, I'm going to piss off and catch on the flip side. And yeah, let me know, like I said, if you want more videos because I feel like we've only just touched it. We haven't scratched the surface yet. Okay, bye!